Once your website is designed, it's time to upload it to the web where people can see it. This lesson is focused on preparing your site for the internet, then preparing the internet for your site. At the end of this lesson, we'll show you how to publish your website to the World Wide Web. Before you upload your site to the web, it's important that you add metadata to it. Metadata is information about your page that search engines will read. There are two types of data you need to worry about, keywords and description. The keywords you use should relate to your website. We talked about this earlier in the course. You can also use common misspellings of keywords. The description is a short paragraph that describes the purpose of your site. This description might appear on search engine results so that visitors know what to expect if they click through your website. You'll enter the metadata for every page of your site. However, let's start with the home page. Go ahead and open your home page now in Design View. Once you have it open, go to Page, Page Properties. Click on the Metadata tab, and then enter the description for your site in the description box. Remember to keep it brief. In the Keywords box, enter your keywords. These keywords should be related to the page. Enter as many keywords as you want, and separate these keywords with a comma. Click OK when you're finished. Now once you've entered your metadata, you're almost ready to publish your site to the web. Before you do, however, you need to decide if you want to upload all of your pages to the internet. There may be a few that you don't want to publish yet, perhaps they're not ready, and you want to wait until later to upload them. You can do this, but just remember that if you've linked to pages that you don't upload, you'll have broken links on your site. Your visitors will see error messages. If there's a page you don't want to upload, right-click on the page in Plan View. Click on Export Page to remove the check mark beside it. This will make it so that that page is not uploaded with the rest of your pages. Now that your website is ready to publish to the web, it's time to find a place to publish it. If you want, you can use www.businesscatalyst.com by Adobe. Business Catalyst was designed for e-commerce businesses. It offers everything you need all under one platform, including marketing. However, if you just want to publish your site to the web without all the extras, you can also buy a hosting plan. Hosting plans are sold by website hosting companies. GoDaddy and HostGator are two well-recognized hosting companies, although there are hundreds of them to choose from. A hosting company essentially provides you a space to put your website on the internet. It's the same as going camping with a camper. You need a place to park your camper, so you rent space in a campground. You'll essentially purchase space on the internet. You'll either pay for that space annually or monthly in most situations. Hosting plans can start out as little as a few bucks a month and skyrocket into hundreds of dollars per year depending on what you need and what you want. Before you need space or hosting to publish your website to the web, you need an address for your website. If we use the camping example again, your address is the lot number where your camper is parked. That way people know where to find you. You can buy a domain name from the company you're going to buy your hosting plan from. Choose the domain name you want. For example, My Pretty Bracelets. Then add .com, .net, .org, and so forth. If it's available, you'll be able to buy it. As an example, this is the box on GoDaddy where you can start the process of searching for a domain name. Enter the domain name you want. So going with our example, My Pretty Bracelets. Click Search Domain to see if it's available. Now if it's not available, you could try .net or .org or .co. But if it is available, it'll tell you so and give you the option to purchase it. You purchase a domain name for at least a year and prices average around $10 to $15 for one year. Please keep in mind also that this course is not specifically recommending GoDaddy or any other hosting or domain company. Be sure to shop around and ask your colleagues and friends. Choose the one that you want and that best fits your needs. So let's learn about exporting our Muse files to HTML. Adobe Muse files are stored in Muse format. In order to upload them to the web, you first need to export them to HTML. To do so, go to File, Export as HTML. Enter your domain name. Muse will show you its progress as it exports your pages. And when it's finished, you'll see this message. Click OK. Now let's see if we can understand the files that we just exported. Go to the exported files on your computer by finding the folder and then opening it. You can see your pages listed plus folders. 
These folders contain your images and scripts. If you want to edit your Muse CC website later in a different website design program, you would use this export folder and the files contained in the folder. And now it's time to upload your website to the web. To do this, we're going to use an FTP program or file transfer protocol. Your host will provide instructions on uploading your site to the server. Have the instructions from the host in front of you before uploading your site. That said, Windows provides an FTP utility as part of its operating system. You can use that, or you can download a free FTP program from the internet. It's up to you. And keep in mind that all FTP programs ask for the same information to upload your site. This is the information that you'll need. The address of your host's FTP server, your username with the host, and your password. If your FTP program asks you for any additional information, it will be information that you can find with your host. And that is the end of Lesson 12. We hope you enjoyed working with Adobe Muse and have a better feel of the program. Keep in mind that practice makes perfect.